Hey everyone, Ariel Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful or because you're having a good day. Uh, this is a review of the Bulova, Bulova Precisionist Wilton. Uh, Wilton is the sort of name of a collection of, I guess you could say more classically designed models in the Precisionist collection. The Precisionist watch is something that, that we've reviewed before and we really like these watches a lot. Um, and for good reason, and we'll explain why. It's it's a little bit too difficult to explain to someone who isn't very, very familiar with watches and how they work, so I'll, I'll do the best job I can. We have a, a review of, a, of an earlier Precisionist model, which it explains it again, but I'll, I'll just give it to you in, in a short, in, in a shorter sort of way. Now, we have the watch right now in, in chronograph mode, so we're gonna move it out of chronograph mode uh, by pushing this pusher here. And so the hand moves around here. Um, and you can tell it's sweeping. It's actually going at double right because it has to get itself back into position. Okay, so there you go. So this hand is sweeping, just like an automatic movement, but this is a quartz watch. How is that working? How is that possible? Well, when the Precisionist came out, it featured a new movement. Now, Bulova is owned by Citizen. So um, this, I don't know if this was developed during the citizen ownership or just before, but um, it, it cause something like this, you know, takes you know several years to make. But I, I believe Citizen had a part in it, though I don't know all the details. And actually, I don't know a huge amount of details about the movement itself. Anyhow, let me let me explain more about. It. So it has a couple of features above and beyond what you would normally get with a quartz movement, and the price is very very good. So one thing, quartz movements tend to have hands that tick. They tick because they're trying to conserve battery power because when you're moving a hand at this rate all the time, you're using a lot of battery. And somehow this watch, the Precisionist collection, is able to get around that and still have a pretty good battery life. So that's one thing. So if you like sweeping sec seconds hands, um, but you don't want to spend the money on a mechanical watch or simply want your quartz watch to look more like a mechanical watch, this is the way to do it. And so that's a fantastic thing. Okay, so that's one thing, sweeping seconds hand. Two, accuracy. This watch is more accurate than normal quartz watches. Now quartz watches in general are gonna be much more accurate than mechanical watches by leaps and bounds. But this is gonna be even more accurate than most quartz watches. So most quartz watches are accurate to about, um, about 15 seconds a month, I think is a safe number. This one's accurate to about five to 10 seconds a year. How is that possible? Well, I'm not really sure to be honest. There's different ways that this has been achieved in other watches, um, such as thermo compensation. This one, Belova says the quartz uh, crystal that's usually a two prong fork is a three prong fork. And somehow that is able to increase the oscillations and make it a little bit more accurate. Well, a lot more accurate. Um, they didn't really explain it above and beyond that, or maybe I wasn't paying attention in class, but uh, suffice it to say that the promise is that this watch is accurate to about five to 10 seconds a year, which is really, really good. Um, and the third major point of the Precisionist, and I'm sorry if I'm just holding it here and, bo and boring you, is that the battery life. It's not the best battery life in the world, but uh, they do claim a two-year battery life, which is definitely acceptable for something like this. So you have a reasonably priced watch with a, sw with a sweeping seconds hand, high precision, and decent battery life. And that is really impressive to me. Um, and what's interesting is this was kind of a very quiet uh, release when this came out a couple of years ago for the first time. You know, I would have thought that the company would have made a much bigger deal out of this. For me it is, but I guess just nerds like me um, find that great. So, okay. So <laughs> first there was the Precisionist. Then there was a Precisionist chronograph. This is one of those chronographs. There are sportier versions as well, but I was really keen on reviewing the, the this sort of more classic version because I thought it was interesting to have all these features um, mixed in with sort of this classic look. Now, as chronographs go, this one is precise to one one thousandth of a second, and that's really also good, and it's really fun to watch. Okay, so the way this works is that this, um, the middle hand is the running seconds hand, but also doubles as the chronograph seconds hand. So what you need to do is you need to put it into chronograph mode. So you push this push over here, and then the hand speeds up to go to the middle location. Okay, now it's in chronograph mode. Then you can start the chronograph, 
and then it starts to move in these sort of one second increments like that. Now you'll notice right here that there are hands literally going crazy. They're flying. There's two hands there. One's moving really quickly, another's moving even more quickly. And I'm trying to move into the light there as you can see it properly. That's really, really cool to see. And so the rest of the hands on the dial are for the chronograph. And each of them tells you a different piece of information. And this chronograph can measure up to 12 hours. So I'm going to stop it at 30 seconds. Okay, so we stop it at 30 seconds, and then in order to get that more precise reading, we have to look at three other hands. So over here you have for the minutes, we're not looking at that right now, and over here you have for the hours, we're going to ignore that for now. We're first going to look at the top here, and the numbers are segmented by decimal points, right? So you look at the, the inner number first, and we are at uh, 0.9. Okay, so we're at 0.9 and then 0 0.00, okay? Uh, so we are at, so the, the total time so far will be 30 seconds, 0 0.9, uh, 0, 0, and then we can get that thousandths decimal point here, which is at 4. So it would be, it would be 30.9004 seconds. Wow, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty accurate there. I, I, I think that's really awesome. Um, so you have the, you have there a a very precise reading um, down to one one thousandth of a second. So that'd be again that'd be I think I added an extra zero in there when I made the the reading. But you you get the idea. So again, it's a little time consuming compared to say digital watch to read all of those different things. But most of the times you're using the chronograph, you just want it down to the second. But if you really want to know that one one thousandth of a second, because it really matters, well, the precisionist chronograph has you covered. And then you can start again um, with the chronograph. And then if you want to switch it back, you can actually go back to the time mode, I believe. At, no, you got to reset it, I guess. And then again, it goes back like that. And then you have the date as well. So uh, cool chronograph, um, cool little motors in there that move those hands so quickly and all those other really great features that, um, that I appreciate. So I think overall, this is a really cool design. Now let's talk about the watch itself. This version has that kind of rose gold tone. Um, this is big. It's, I think it's more than 45 millimeters. It's maybe 46 millimeters. It's a, it's a large watch. And I, I happen to be someone that likes classic looking watches that are large. Um, so I'm, I'm a fan of this thing. It's not the type of thing that I think I'd want to wear every single day, but I like how it has that combination of that really high tech quartz movement, but that kind of classic look there, um, which for me is, 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 a, is a great bonus. Um, unfortunately, this model does not have luminance, so there's no night viewing, but there are sportier versions of the Precisionist Chronograph that do. Price for this watch retails for 650 bucks. And I wanted to mention the reference number here so that you know exactly which model this is. This is the Bulova Bolo Precision Precisionist Wilton Chronograph uh, 97B122. And you can see the full review on a blog to watch soon. <laughs>